good morning, good evening, good afternoon traders and students <coughs> all around the world this is Forex Trading Course 101 and this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube remember if this is your first time we are ending this week we are ending the beginner module so if this is your first time please go back to the Ducascope YouTube webinar page and start to watch the lessons starting from number one and this is the echo I have again okay echo is done hello Vincent how are you hello time to shine hello Miguel hello Zuelius hello King hello Zuelius what is Bonji I mean Bonji is good 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 morning Bonji eh, good morning ne Bonji hello Vakos hello Romar and remember everybody <coughs> what we're trying to do is we're trying to build the three pillars pillar number one is the strategy and or the system pillar number two is risk management and the big one the psychology everybody you need to understand psychology and what do champion traders say say with me champion traders say I am not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and of course this is a quote from Mike Douglas hello Ennington hello Christian remember everybody 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice the webinars are for educational purposes only and for homeworks and or questions you have my gmail contact my skype contact and my LinkedIn contact so let's move let's move on everybody we are going to open a chart right and a different one and we are going to talk about the candlestick formations right so today we have bearish candlestick formation and which one we didn't talk about yet USD JPY, USD CAT, USD CHF AUD JPY, AUD CHF okay let's open everybody let's open one GBP JPY right GBP JPY hello VA sir how are you everybody GBP JPY okay two hour chart and what we're going to do today we are going to do a trading exercise everybody okay now some of you send an email to me oh what are the other strategies so oh, what are the other strategies what are the other strategies right everybody there is no right or wrong in, on how you are going to build your strategy remember you can accept or you can reject everybody okay so there is no right or wrong you can use pivot points if you want if you want or new or you can reject pivot points if you want you can use trend lines counter trend lines or you can reject trend lines so nobody is going to tell you everybody what to use in your strategy okay so okay we are going to do an exercise today oh it's bearish so I need to be a bear bearish candlestick formation let me try to find a nice one okay we are going to start from here starting from here okay and as we talked about so many times maybe the good point of one let's say a scalper is the bad point of the other right so what we're going to do everybody we are going to okay we are going to make two strategies all right just me just find so okay strategy number one is going to be a scalper so strategy number one is going to be a scalper remember we are talking about simple trading strategies okay and remember these webinars hello Salbakti how are you 
these webinars are not trading or investment advice but strategy number one is going to be a scalper and clone strategy number two is going to be a swing trader okay so swing trader swing trader and the swing trader is going to use counter trendline break ctb counter trendline break and is going to use what candlestick formation okay so those are two different strategies the scalper is going to use just candlestick formations and the swing trader is going to use counter trendline break with candlestick formation let me just check one thing if we can go bearish on the 15 minute chart not on this part okay no problem no problem scalper yes there is no right or wrong everybody there is no right or wrong you can be a scalper news trader position trader day trader swing trader whatever you want okay <clears throat> and what we're going to do today we are going to talk about bearish candlestick formations and again we want to show you that theory is one okay you can find this exact picture on the internet just type candlestick formation candlestick formation cheat sheet whatever okay it should be there if not send me an email passion can you send me your picture no problem I thought you were going to say other Salbakti what are you talking about what other ah, other trading strategies yes there are many trading strategies everybody so we are here the market broke the uptrend line and the market here you go the market broke the uptrend line and we are here right now okay so I'm going to zoom in okay everybody let's see bullish right okay bullish sideways bam okay who in here want to take the opportunity everybody to short the market remember we we learned about that we as beginner traders we are going to only short right we are going we are going to only short the market and never buy in a downtrend right namaste patak how are you okay so who in here want to short the market now what's the difference as you can see everybody the swing trader cannot short the market swing trader cannot short the market yet the scalper the scalper can short the market the scalper can short the market if he thinks or she thinks that this is a bearish candlestick formation the scalper can short the market the swing trader cannot cannot short the market like this right and remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat okay so if you're a scalper everybody this is going to be this is going to be a risk something like this right we said that generally speaking and this is a simple trading strategy a scalper is going to go one for one so this is a scalper right a swing trader cannot okay so swing trader is going to wait let's see okay market going sideways up okay what about now everybody who in here wants to go short everybody who in 
here we want to short the market we are still talking about the same the same candlesticks okay now for the beginner trader what we are going to learn and this is psychology everybody don't panic because the market it is going to retest your candlestick formation 80% of the time okay this is a concept not a rule not a rule don't panic but the market is going to retest your candlestick formation 80% of the time who in here want to short the market nobody I mean the swing trader with the simple strategy which says okay I'm going to short the market when the market breaks the counter trend line and I'm going to see a bearish candlestick formation the swing trader cannot short the market yet but the scalper can so scalpers where are you nobody wants to scalp the market today remember this is risk this is reward and we are on the two hour chart you know and one more everybody which we are not going okay so let's do this first right what's the challenge the challenge is where because the swing trader everybody now this is the difference I'm going to put again in the chat I mean on the screen so swing trader swing trader strategy swing trader simple strategy you know so enter with counter trend and break two candlestick formation three higher time frame confirmation can you see everybody how the entry is going to be different we are using the same indicator we are using the same tool we are using candlestick formations for our entry and we learned about in the previous lessons that the candlestick formations are an indicator a tool to time the market so we are going to use candlestick formation for timing so the scalper can easily enter on the two hour chart look at the swing trader if I'm going to enter with a counter trend line break and candlestick formation so I'm going to have a different setup and a different view of the market now if I put number three as my strategy and there is no right or wrong I cannot enter on the two hour chart without confirming on the higher time frame if the candlestick is bullish or bearish bull pressure so no scalper in here today no scalper in here okay everybody I'm going to scalp all right I'm a scalper I'm going to enter at this third candle that Patak says bull pressure Akko says this is bullish so I'm going to enter in here everybody question for the scalpers okay let's help the scalpers out beginner scalpers this is for you question for the beginner scalper did the most recent candle violate my setup let's help scalpers today okay I'm going to enter on the third candle everybody I'm a scalper and Patak is afraid Akos is afraid right so I'm asking you scalpers did the most recent candle the blue one 
the bullish pressure candle violate my setup what would you say everybody it's a yes or no question did the blue candle the bullish pressure candle violate my setup yes or no you can say yes you can say no you can say I don't know you can say I have no idea what are you talking about no problem we are here to learn right Salbakti, yes it's as I will scalp okay so the scalpers from Friday what do you think did the most recent candle violate the setup for the scalp what do you say no Salbakti, so okay Salbakti, so you understand this so you will scalp what about the others who in here thinks that this candle violates the setup everybody this is where we are trying to learn how to think as a trader this is just an example you can have a violation on any setup that you are trading you can you need to you need to understand until where and then until when your setup is still valid you can have a swing trader setup entry you can have a day trader setup entry you can have a news trader setup entry and you need to understand if the market violated your setup Patak I don't know great answer I don't know great answer everybody so the answer is no the market didn't violate the setup okay and if I didn't scalp the first blue candle I am going to scalp the second one what does this mean of course what does this mean to violate the setup setup violation would be if the market would hit the stop loss and make a higher high everybody just for you to understand okay just for you to understand everybody so when you have different candles bullish bearish bullish bullish bearish right and i'm talking about scalpers and the market is kind of sideways on the one hour chart, two hour chart or it's going to make a bullish flag or it's going to make a bearish flag, right? but you know that you are in a downtrend, right? you are in a downtrend and you want to scalp the market so a violation of the entry would be if the market hits your stop loss and shows you that the market goes up because we said as beginner traders we are going to short the downtrend now if this happens everybody we are not in the downtrend anymore and no I'm not talking about structure and the market wave I'm talking about the short trend so this would be a violation of the setup until if I, if I have a signal somewhere in here if I have a bearish signal somewhere in here and the market goes up and retests the signal and pushes down and it goes up and retests the signal and pushes down so the market didn't violate my setup I can still re-enter but when and if the market breaks takes out my stop loss and breaks out of the range on the upside so I'm not in a downtrend anymore the market is not making lower lows lower highs it's making higher highs higher lows so this is a violation of the setup does this make sense to you everybody Patak and Lennon you said I don't know does this make sense to you and some of you everybody are stubborn you know <laughs> I know some of you right some of you are stubborn you are shorting the market right 
in an uptrend of course you don't know the uptrend but you are shorting the market in here and the market goes against you and oh the market must reverse yes it must and you short the market again and the market goes against you and you are stubborn and you short the market again and the market goes against you and you are going to burn the account in this way you know why is that because you don't some of you know some of you have this knowledge already but you are stubborn you know you know that you have the knowledge you some of you are giving classes and you take you say your student oh this is the setup violation but some of you know that the market violated your setup for the entry and you are stubborn and you are going against the trend beginner traders of course okay so try not to enter when when the market violates your setup yes 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 okay so me and Salbakti we are going to enter let's see how this is going to play out and we are going to enter as scalpers okay let's see bam Salbakti let's drink a beer huh? what do you say oh let's eat Brazilian barbecue what, what do you prefer Salbakti see everybody bullish pressure bearish pressure doesn't mean anything okay what do you need to understand everybody and this is beginner stuff this is for the beginner traders bullish pressure bearish pressure doesn't mean anything you must understand your setup of course we don't know what the market is going to do the same way that we won we could lose right but psychologically speaking me and Salbakti we entered we were not afraid about oh it's a bullish pressure you know and we talked about two or three, three times everybody you know do you want to be right or wrong or do you want to execute your setup what do you want So me and Salvakti are going to eat a pizza with this bearish candlestick formation. Picanha, okay, great, very good. Okay, so next, let's see the next candle. Okay, one, two, sideways, up. Okay, sideways. Okay, what in here, everybody? We said that the counter trend line break must have one, two, three candles so swing trader is going to be positioned like this one two three on the retracement so who in here want to scalp the market okay let's go step by step everybody is this a bearish candlestick formation one two three and even better is this a bearish candlestick formation it's a very shooting star maybe yes maybe no right because it has bullish pressure but then it has bearish pressure aqua says yes albakti says shooting star krishna says yes okay everybody who in here want to scalp the market and the second question do you want to scalp the market at the first candle or do you want to wait and scalp the market with the second blue candle? Christian says it is a bearish candlestick formation. Yes, it is. Aquas want to scalp. Which one? The first candle or the second one? Patak says yes the first candle or the second one with the blue or the with the with the first blue or with the second blue so stop loss do you want your stop loss like this 
or do you want your stop loss? Oh, it's going to be most likely no, it's going to be different. So the first stop loss is like this, the second stop loss is. like this close right close and open okay there you go second stop loss first stop loss first stop loss okay so clone right this is the first and this is the second clone whoops clone okay there you go okay those are scalpers swing trader cannot enter because we didn't have the counter trend line break yet one two three on the two hour chart let's see how this is going to play out everybody Bam! 1-1. One, one. Scalper 1, right? Okay, so we are here. Let's move further. Sideways. 1, 2. Okay. What about now, everybody? Do you want to scalp this one? Is this a bearish candlestick formation? The market went what went down, you know. Question: What do you think? Is the swing trader angry, happy, or indifferent? The scalper won two trades, three trades actually, starting from the beginning. The scalper won three trades. Everybody and the swing trader didn't enter what do you think is the swing trader angry happy or indifferent because he's staying out what do you think scalper 2 also on yes now the swing trader is going to enter here this is the swing trader so we have an entry for the swing trader okay and this is the stop loss of the swing trader this is a stop loss of the swing trader this is going to be his entry counter trend line break and again what is the difference swing traders by default they are going to risk one and go after two by default so this is the swing trader finally the swing trader has an entry one two three the market broke the counter trend line so we have a swing trader entry everybody and scalpers is this a bearish candle bearish candlestick formation do you want to enter indifferent should be indifferent yes sir if you're a beginner trader you must understand there is no right or wrong and if your strategy tells you not to enter without the counter trend line break so you should be indifferent you don't have a signal right swing trader should be patient salbakti so yes Swing traders are patient. Everybody, if you are kind, oh, I don't have enough patience. I don't want to wait for a week or a month, you know. Oh, I cannot wait for the end to uh, end of the day, you know. Well, maybe you are a scalper, you know. I don't see bearish candlestick formation, says Albakti. No problem. Okay, so no trader no scalper let's see how this is going to play out down sideways down sideways sideways down 
Did the swing trader won? Win, everybody. Did the swing trader win? What do you think? Did the swing trader win? What you must learn, everybody, in this lesson are two things. What you must learn? You must unders. You must learn to understand that number one no strategy is perfect is perfect number two both strategies can win or lose there is no right or wrong there is no right or wrong on what strategy to choose swing trader one yes 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 you must learn and understand everybody you you should finish the 101 course everybody with your strategy okay you should finish the 101 course knowing what is your strategy okay and in making up your strategy in building your strategy you must understand that no strategy is perfect the scalper won four times you know the beginner scalper won two times because the other two was afraid to enter because it was bullish pressure let's be honest here everybody okay and the swing trader was out of the market and finally entered and won and this is just an example the same thing that the same way that the swing trader won could lose so no strategy is perfect and both strategy can win or lose you have traders winning and you have traders losing with different strategies if you don't know how the market works if you don't know the rules you know if you don't have a good education and especially the last one if you don't listen you are going to lose it doesn't matter scalper swing trader day trader position trader news trader you are going to lose and if you are going to listen it again it doesn't matter scalper day trader swing trader position trader you are going to win more times we all have losers yes sir but what is an edge an edge is when we are winning more than we are losing because the market can do anything it wants and number three if you are thinking there is no you if you're thinking oh should i be a scalper should i be a swing trader there is no right or wrong okay now if you want to count pips everybody if you want to count pips you can go back uh, I mean we are not going to waste time during the webinar you can go back after the webinar and count the pips but we can assume just graphically right we can assume just graph and I don't have we can assume just graphically I'm not going to tell you for sure because we are not going to waste time but the swing trader one more pips than the scalper in this trade oh so swing trading is better no it's not because the same way the swing trader won more pips in just one trade guess what the swing trader can lose more pips in just one trade does this make sense to everybody okay so let's make let's write this down point number four point number four the swing trader is going to most likely win more pips per trade especially
especially because swing traders trade on a higher time frames the swing trader is going to win more pips of trade in comparison comparison to the scalper but in the same way it is going to lose more pips per trade in comparison to a scalper does this make sense to everybody the swing trader is going to most likely win more pips per trade in comparison to the scalper but in the same way it is going to lose more pips per trade in a losing trade in comparison to a scalper King says yes because we don't live and die of a trade by trade basis yes sir Christian says I agree okay let's move on down right okay one two three we have again we have one two three counter trend line one two three four okay what about now everybody who wants to enter this one question number one is this a bullish or bearish candlestick formation and number two who wants to enter aqua says yes it makes sense I have a question everybody <clears throat> on the other streaming platform and a student is asking passion how do I know if I'm a scalper or swing trader or any other strategy everybody when you are learning how to trade great question when you are learning how to trade after a series of trades 10 20 30 40 most likely 50 try to pay attention on how you feel okay and I'm not I'm not oh but you said we shouldn't feel anything I'm talking about at the time of your entry you know it's it's your strategy let's not complicate too much everybody I'm not a psychologist if your strategy is let's say that you understand your let's write this down it's a, it's a good comment Okay, let's write this down it's a suggestion suggestion because I'm not a psychologist everybody suggestion if you understand if you understand your strategy but you have difficulties in exit Executing your strategy my opinion most likely this strategy is not for you okay so the question was on the other st streaming platform you are not going to see this on YouTube but a student asked how do I know if I'm a scalper, swing trader or any other strategy? So this is the suggestion. I'm not a psychologist. If you understand your strategy, but you have difficulties in executing your strategy, you know, most likely this strategy is not for you and only you everybody you know if you should continue or you should train yourself you know oh i want to be a scalper i want to be a scalper but i'm afraid 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 but i want to be a scalper but i'm afraid afraid you know if you want you can build trading is a skill right then some of you some of us we have an easy much easier way to go in order to change 
some of us have a more difficult time in order to change you know or on the other side you want to be a swing trader man I don't have patience to wait for a week for a trade to hit the level or the Fibonacci level or the pivot point or whatever you know well maybe the swing trading strategy is not for you okay great question so this is the answer uh, bearish enter Akos is going to enter bearish and gap I will go Patak will go bearish cans but I am waiting for the retest okay bearish twizzer top okay that is a bullish engulfing candle the last one it's bearish the last one is bearish so Akos is going to enter and the swing so this is an entry for everybody for the swing trader and for the scalper right what is the difference the difference is going to be in the stop loss so swing trader swing trader is going to have the stop loss like this clone we want to go for two right clone clone and the scalper is going to have a different it depends on what you see everybody or you can have your stop loss like this if you want if you see berry shooting star it doesn't matter or you can have the same stop loss as the swing trader I have hold the trades for two weeks trading on a four hour two hour chart Stoyan was easy for you or was difficult for you tell us it was easy for you or it was difficult for you Stoyan in the meantime everybody we are going to see what is going to happen so bam scalpers are out the swing traders are still in does this mean that scalper doesn't have a an edge or this means that the swing trader is better absolutely not both trading styles both strategies can, can win or lose next one bam see everybody the scalper lost and the swing trader lost see everybody the scalper lost which is okay and the swing trader loss which is still okay because we are making money on our money management on our risk reward ratio right so we are still in profit okay now another difference what about the swing trader what about the swing trader that said in his strategy well I'm only going to enter with the counter trend line break I'm going only to enter with the counter trend line break and bearish candlestick formation if the higher time frame is going to show me the confirmation I would like to play swing Patak my friend please don't play anything this is not this is serious business okay so don't play around I know that this is what you did <laughs> yeah I know don't worry okay so a swing trader with a different strategy says oh I'm going to enter only if I have a confirmation from the higher time frame two hour chart one hour chart four hour chart confirmation time frame is the daily so as you can see everybody it's not the perfect example but when the when the counter trend line break happened when the counter trend line break happened what do you have here 
on the daily chart. Well, most likely, if this was me, most likely I would enter because this is the confirmation candle, the blue one. It's still bearish. And in the time that this market was moving, the bullish candle was not formed yet. So I would play. Yes, Patak, I would play. <laughs> I'm using the same word. Okay, so I would put my entry based on this. This candle still bullish. I mean bearish, right? Stoney says, it was hard in the beginning, but once I have realized that on these time frames, moves are sometimes not developing so quick as other times, and we just need to be patient and not mess with the trades. Thank you, Stoyan. So what's Tony saying to everybody that you can develop the skill of being patient, you know? But I'm telling you, if you are trying for one, two, three, four months and you did about between a hundred and three hundred trades and if you are still suffering, let's use the word suffer, if you are suffering any, any kind of emotions, oh, anxiety, you know, patience, impatience, lack of sleep, maybe the strategy that you are trying. And again, this is my suggestion, okay, I'm not a psychologist. Maybe your strategy is not good for you, appropriate. You know, we, ha we are different types of people with different personalities, you know. I don't know if how to say in English the personality test, you know, you have the uh, I don't even know how to say there are the four per four basic personalities, right? But I don't remember the names. Anyway, everybody, when you are building your strategy, just try to learn about yourself. Okay, everybody, we are going to end the webinar for today. See you back tomorrow. Okay, so try to think. Okay, let's move on with the lessons. Homework. Until tomorrow. You don't need to think about a year. Homework. Try to decide on what kind of, what type, not what kind, what type of trader are you. And most importantly, and try to build up a part of your strategy okay it's just a part because we are ending this week we are ending the beginner module try to decide try to decide on what type of trader are you and try to build a part of your strategy Okay, this is the homework until tomorrow. Until to oh, but I don't have everybody until tomorrow. Why is that? Because we are at the beginner module. Okay. Next time I'm going to give you a week or a month, if you want. But we are in the beginner module right now. So until tomorrow, try to. Be you are going to decide what kind of indicators are you going to use. Trend lines, trend, support, resistance, pivot points, candlestick formations, market structure, house and lows, if you want. And there is no right or wrong. You can use one, two or five. It doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you remove the section for profit and loss to avoid emotions in swing traders? As a beginner trader, the answer is yes, Miguel. As a beginner trader, the answer is yes. As a professional, is the answer is no. Great question, Miguel. Okay, everybody, until tomorrow, stay strong and trade with passion. This is FX Passion, signing off.